Now, Partygate. I thought I probably would get get away with not talking about this, but I don't think I can. Partygate. What is the problem here? The problem is a sense of responsibility. And in public life, uh, at the moment, there is very little sense of responsibility. People duck that concept. Uh, we know that Boris ducks it, of course. We've seen him do it. Well, he doesn't duck it completely. He was quite good at standing at the dispatch box and apologising and looking like a sheepish child. But it's not enough. It's not enough. He leads his government. And that government should be composed of people who are prepared to stand up and take responsibility, both for the good and the bad. But we haven't seen that. And they should be leading um, civil servants who do the same. So the moment there was any question of party gate being raised, the moment there was any question of people having parties and, uh, and realising they had done wrong, surely there should have been a flood of letters to the Prime Minister or to whoever the respective bosses should be offering resignations. So why do we not see, why have we not heard about these letters and how their various bosses have rejected those resignations? Said, well, you know, very nice of you to offer your resignation, but it's not accepted because in this time of national crisis we need you, blah, 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 blah. Why have we not heard about these letters? Is it possibly that there is nobody who has moral um, a moral centre who is working in Downing Street or in Whitehall. And if that is the case, I feel rather alarmed. Now, we know there's nobody with any moral centre working in the Kremlin. But we haven't we always prided ourselves on our sense of right and wrong? Isn't this something which was drilled into us from the Victorian age, from the Edwardian age, Certainly, I think it was drilled into me when I was a little boy at school that if you do something wrong, you stand up and you, uh, you take responsibility for it. Have we lost that? I look around, and in my, in, in my limited scope, I look around at things that are wrong, and people, <laughs> people seem to have got into a habit of using various formulae. Uh, I'm sorry that you're upset. Or, uh, that's the starting point, which is utterly, utterly reprehensible. And the next one is, yes, 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 you've made some valid points. <laughs> and yes, we have failed. We will learn. We will, we will learn from this. <laughs> no, you will resign. You'll offer me your resignation. And I will consider whether or not I'm graceful enough to say, uh, actually, I want you to continue. We've got into a habit of ducking responsibility in high office, and it is beautifully demonstrated in Number 10 and in Whitehall. And this has got nothing to do with whether or not um, <laughs> these people should ever have had parties in the first place. Uh, where was their moral compass at that point, when they were dragging their, their suitcase of, um, <laughs> of wine and goodies from, um, from, from budgeons or whatever it was? I, I don't understand. I don't understand why these are the people who are running our country. People who cannot take responsibility. And they expect us to take responsibility. If this wasn't so serious, it would be monumentally laughable. <laughs>